Hi guys, had an interesting comment from Just a Lab Rat about gravity powered cars. Uh, he was wondering whether there was any difference between letting the weight drop right off the car and let the car carry on or whether retaining the weight on the car helped the car go further because it's got the momentum. So I thought I'd give it a try. Um, got this car here that is a rubber band powered car. I'm going to replace the front wheels with ordinary CDs and then build a tripod or something to carry the weight. Uh, cut a hole in it so that we can try it dropping the weights on the floor or catching the weights on the body and see if there's any difference in the distance travelled. So first thing I'll do is replace the wheels then I'll build a tripod. I've had a look through my scrap box and I found this little pulley which I've got a nice piece of wire here that it fits on nicely. I've got a couple of or four plastic beads either side of it to reduce the friction. So I'll mount that on the top of the tripod or whatever I build so that we've got minimum friction and see how far we can go with the two options catching the weight or dropping the weight. Right, modified the bodywork Barbecue skewers and CDs for the front wheel now. Cut a hole in the chassis. Little plastic tub. So we can either have the tub there to catch the weights or take the tub out and let the weights drop through. And there's my assembly to go on top which you can't quite see on the camera because it's too close but I'll stick it in place and then we'll zoom out a bit so there we go I've got our pulley on top just about visible so we'll put a bit of fishing line around that, attach it to the weights it on the back axle and see if we get any difference in the distance travelled. Okay, time to do a test run. I don't really think I've got a long enough distance to actually prove if there's any difference between catching the weight or dropping the weight. But we'll have a try and to do it as accurately as possible, what I'm going to do is attach my fishing line to the back axle whilst the car is sitting on this bit of tape I've stuck to the floor. I'll then push the car back up to the wall which means that the line will be wrapped around the back axle a certain number of times. I'll then release it and try and mark where it finishes and then I'll do the same without the plastic container there so the weights drop straight on the floor and try and see if there's any difference so we'll give it a try whilst it's right on top of the plastic tape. Push it back to the wall. Release it. I think it 
the front of the front wheel got to about that point and it rolled back a tiny bit. So I'll put a bit of tape on the floor and then we'll do that again. Right, I've put that bit of tape where I reckon it stopped before it rolled backwards. Right then, this time I'll take the tray off. Fishing line over the pulley. Connect it to the back axle, line it up with the plastic tape. Walk it backwards. Let it go. Well, that went further, didn't it? I better do a couple more runs just to confirm. Right, test run without the plastic tray. Again, or second run. Second run dropping the weights. So on the line, walk it back. Release. Okay, so that's, well it's going more than five metres because it's hitting the end of the wall. We'll put the tray back in again and give it another try. Tray back in. Weights in the tray. Because there is another slight point. The uh, weights drop slightly further because they're going right the way down to the floor, aren't they? Anyway, we'll uh, wind it up and try it again. Release it. Well, I think that um, proves the point. It's going slightly less distance by catching the weights than it does dropping the weights. But I don't know how much of that is due to the fact that the weights are dropping a tiny bit further when they drop onto the floor. Don't know how to prove that. <laughs> so all I can say is at this moment in time, with the test that I've done, it looks like the car goes further if you drop the weight rather than catch it. Guess I'd better do a quick little summary of what we've actually got here, just for reference. Uh, the car itself is just a cardboard chassis. All the wheels are CDs. Uh, the front wheels have just got a barbecue skewer as the axle. The back wheels have got a flower cane, so it's just that little bit thicker. Gives us a bit more strength. The axles are sitting in drinking straws at both ends. The, well, I called it a tripod, but obviously it's got four legs. Um, that's made out of flower canes as well. We've got a rather nice little pulley on the top there that came out of a record player that's spinning around on a nice little wire axle. And it's got little plastic beads either side of it to hold it in place. Um, the weights I'm using, it's a 3 ounce and a 4 ounce lead weight, so that's 7 ounces in total, which I seem to remember was um, 200 grams or something like that, but I can't, I'm not sure. It's 7 ounces anyway. 
and we've tested it catching the weights and dropping the weights straight on the floor and from my testing it looks like it goes further dropping the weights than it does catching them. I'm a little surprised I thought it would go further with the weight in there keeping the momentum going but it looks like it's the opposite be interesting to see if somebody else can do the same test and see what results they get.